Hey there, my friend. This is Drummer Daily. My name's Daniel. I'm so happy you could join me. Oh man, uh, it has been quite the, well, as I'm recording this, it's been quite the summer. It's, uh, it's still summertime, really. Um, it's like 90, my watch says it's 93 degrees outside right now, Fahrenheit. Uh, that's I don't know. I, I can't do the, the Celsius conversion. It's like a million degrees Celsius or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, but uh, it's been quite the summer. Uh, this is, as I'm recording this, it's my uh, son's first full week back to school. And so uh, my wife and I are readjusting to um, having uh, more time to get more stuff done during the day um, that is harder to do when we uh, are entertaining a kid, making sure he doesn't... Uh, doesn't go nuts, doesn't get bored during the summer, and we don't either. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm here now with you, and I'm so happy. Uh, my, my brain feels a little frazzled uh, just from from running back through all the things that I've been kind of having piling up uh, these last few weeks of summer. Uh, so today, um, I've got another one of your questions, and uh, I want to warn you about this question. It's not... Um, uh, I normally try to answer uh, in a way that doesn't, you know, uh, challenge uh, the writer too much. Or I always feel like maybe I'm being too harsh if I challenge someone. But I'm probably going to challenge the person who wrote this in a little bit, um, push back a little bit on this. So uh, it's still going to be positive and encouraging, but I just want to warn you ahead of time. This is um, going to be a little bit more of a tough talk than some of my other episodes. Uh, so uh, Benjamin writes in and he says, what do I do if I'm stuck in a small town next to a city where all the major studio producers are in bed with the drummers that are just mediocre? So I can't get the sessions to get into these big studios. Uh, parentheses, bureaucracy and politics. Um, so but kind of before I get into my answer, Benjamin, I wanna say uh, that uh, you know, a couple, couple of ground rules with what, what, you know, why I'm going to answer this question the way it is. The, the, the biggest ground rule is this. Um, y- you are where you're at and I'm where I'm at. Uh, you, wrote the, you wrote the question in to me um, and common sense tells us a couple of things. Common sense tells me that A, you um, still want to be involved in this music scene. Um, because you're asking about how to do it. And uh, B, second, um, you are asking me about what do you do, um, which means you understand that I or you, uh, we we can't necessarily uh, do anything to change the music scene that you're in or that music scene that you're trying to get into. Um, So that leaves us with you, with, with, with what you can do. Um, I just want to encourage everyone who's listening to this to keep that in mind with any, you know, with a drum career or music career or anything, it can seem like there's a lot of things out of our control, but those things, if they really truly are out of our control, um, we can't do anything about them. So we only can work on ourselves and change what we're doing on our end. Um, So, uh, the first thing I want to point out, um, and this is more of a, uh, it's anecdotal, but it's also based on a lot of experience. Um, The music business is one thing that, especially the the studio musician, the the hired musician side of things, uh, it's it's one kind of environment where I I hear what Benjamin, what you're saying about it being, you know, there being politics and bureaucracy and stuff getting in the way. But I will tell you this, I have only ever heard that complaint from people who had not yet really established or even really gotten a chance to experience um, a career as a professional musician. In other words, people who are actually professional musicians and, and, and start getting that experience, they don't ever complain about the politics and the bureaucracy. And I, I want to be clear that that's, I don't think it's because, you know, when you got it, you don't care about what the problems are. You got what you want, so you just don't, you know, you're not going to complain. I actually don't think that's the truth. I think that, I think the reality is, is that once you get inside of it and actually experience it, you realize that, that those politics and the bureaucracy isn't there. Um, 
there are other there are other types of business or uh, work careers, things like that, that you hear on uh, you know you hear on the on the front end before you get into it that there's a lot of politics and bureaucracy, and then once you get inside of it, you realize all that's true, and you still hear complaints about it from people who are in the middle of it. Um, but I have to tell you that the music business overall, uh, I'm generalizing here, but the music business uh, and all the experience that I've had and other musicians that I know, I've never com- felt like or or heard complaints from others that there is a lot of politics or, or un, unfair bureaucracy or anything like that going on in the music business. Um, so what I want to tell you is, uh, or, or my, my instinct, and I, I don't know you, so please take this with a grain of salt, and if this is wrong, just throw it away and ignore it. But my experience has shown me that most musicians who are not yet professionals, who complain about the politics and bureaucracy of a music scene, uh, have uh, th- that is the excuse for things not happening. I've talked about this in the podcast before, but if your challenge, if you truly believe that your ch- your main challenge um, to achieving your goal is something that is completely out of your control and not something that you can change, um, then you will always have an excuse for not doing it. Um, and I do believe that saying that politics and bureaucracy are in your way as a musician uh, is an excuse that you will uh, you will either create or you might believe on the front end, and then once you believe it, um, every single uh, inkling you might get that that's going on, you'll you'll find it. It's kind of one of those self. Uh, there's a what the paradoxes. There's that thing about you know. It's like when you buy a new car and all of a sudden you start seeing that new car every that same car everywhere. Um, it's that's uh, kind of self fulfilling pro- prophecy. The thing that uh, you know, you, you only notice something like like your your own when you uh, when it's new or you've identified it. So if you think that politics and bureaucracy are the problem, you're going to see it everywhere and think that that's that's causing all the problems. Um, which again, I don't believe it's true. I think that I think that uh, um, you just have to uh, change your approach, which is what we're going to talk about. I will say this though. Uh, even in you know in Nashville, which there's plenty of opportunity for there to be politics and bureaucracy here, um, there uh, there are many producers who have like their favorite drummers, their favorite guitar players, and their favorite bass players, and they they do it does seem like they use the same guys a lot. And I used to think that was unfair as well or something, but once I kind of got on the other side, and there is a podcast episode I've recorded fairly recently talking about. If you ever get the chance to hire uh, musicians for something, or, or kind of put yourself in the shoes of a, as a of a producer and think about what that producer goes through, um, what you might feel. Uh, the rea- this you, you might discover this, and I discovered this. The reality is, if you're a producer, um, you can't afford to risk it a lot of times on somebody that you don't know, um, and um, so so. It makes sense that you would use the same guys because you know them, you trust them, you know they get the job done, you know you know what kind of player they are, you know what kind of playing they're going to do, all those kinds of things. And so that's the reality of why what you might perceive as bureaucracy and politics, or as you say, the drummers are in uh, studio producers are in bed with the drummers. Um, it re- really is more just like they're using people that they know and they trust. Um, and so your job is to become one of those people that they know and trust. Well, that means that you got to get to know people. And if you uh, have the opinion that the studio producers are just in bed with drummers, um, you are taking an approach that will always, uh, through your own doing, put yourself at arm's reach, if not further away, from the scene that you want to be a part of. You basically can't bash and uh, have a distaste for a scene that you also want to be a part of. Um, is it, is it, if it is full of politics and bureaucracy, do you really want to be a part of it? Um, and I think the answer is no, you wouldn't, but I don't think that deep down inside you believe it, believe that it's really bureaucracy and politics. Um, the other part of, and so what I would say is you've got to make yourself available. Um, you've got to show 
these producers that you are a good person to hang around. Uh, and that gets me to the other part of what you wrote, which is you said uh, major studio producers are in bed with the drummers that are just mediocre. Um, so you are describing a situation where there are drummers who are getting lots of paying work in studios, and your perception of them is that they're just mediocre. Um, which I can almost guarantee you, if that's your feeling about the studio musicians, um, that most likely you overplay. And the type of playing that you choose to play and put out there for others to see is probably over the top for what people are looking for in a studio drummer. Um, and you might say, well, of course, I might be able to play better than these other guys. I just want to show everybody everything I can do and uh, you know, trust that the, the producers know that if I can play this complicated stuff, of course I can play this simple stuff. But that's not really how it works with music. Uh, there are tons of drummers I know who know really complicated things, but would never cut it in the studio because they cannot play a basic one and three on the kick, two and four on the snare, and make it feel really good and solid. And so if your perception of all these guys who are getting paid is that they're just mediocre, um, that means that you probably think you're better than them as a player. Um, and that approach, A, is incorrect because these guys are good at what's paying the bills. Um, so they are the standard that you should aspire to achieve to, whatever it is. Um, and second, if you feel like you are truly better than all these other drummers who are getting paid, you are a, a adopting an attitude that will not get you hired. If you're the kind of person who will describe other musicians in your scene that are getting paid as mediocre, um, that's probably a good place to start uh, with what you might be able to adjust so that producers might actually want to get to know you. Um, I have not been around many musicians who are willing to call other musicians in their scene mediocre and complain about the politics and complain about how the producers are in bed with the drummers and they're all just mediocre. I haven't really hung around any musicians like that, that would be willing to say things like that that are people that I'd want to hang around with and that I'd be willing to hire as a drummer. Um, and so I think, uh, I don't want to say it's first step is maybe changing your attitude a little bit, um, but maybe it is. Um, the, like I said, guys who get paid um, are not people who should, we should begrudge. Uh, because they obviously have figured something else out. Uh, if you're not getting paid as a drummer, they figured out something you haven't. And so instead of uh, saying how not good they are, you might want to look and see what you can learn from them because they have got something figured out that you have not. Um, so that may not be the answer you're looking for, Benjamin, but that is the answer that uh, I think um, will help you get started down the right path. Uh, thanks for joining me today on the podcast, um, and I can't wait for you to join me again really soon here on Drummer Daily. Bye for now.